All right, so today we're going to take a look at something that popped up for me, which was a need to connect to my autonomous database from the shell console itself. So if you've never used the shell console, it's basically a Linux VM that allows you to interact with your database um, uh, or interact with OCI in general. It comes preloaded pre with a ton of stuff, very useful, right? So today we're going to just show you how to create the connection. Uh, out of the box, this has you know, uh, the OCI command line. It's got SQL Plus in it. It uh, comes with a lot of things that are very useful. But the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and make a directory to hold our wallet. All right, let's go ahead to that directory. All right, there's nothing in there currently. So what we need to do next is begin to form uh, the connection string uh, to get our wallet for this database. So we're going to go out to our autonomous transaction processing database, and we're going to go ahead into the Sluggers Apex. That's the one we're going to connect to. And I'm going to head, go ahead and copy my OSID real quick. Now, once copied, I'm going to form a, a statement here. Uh, it'll basically now enable us to connect and, and generate our wallet, and we're going to save it in this location. We got our OSID. We're going to save our file. As as this will be our wallet name here, and so let's go ahead and save it. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. So you see here, we've got our Sluggers zip file now. So let's go ahead and unzip that. Now we've got a, uh, a lot of other files here as well. The main ones we need to begin to alter are sqlnet.ora. So let's go ahead and alter that. And what we need to do here is change our directory so that it points to uh, where we are in our, our folder structure. So go ahead and do that. Save it. All right, if you need to know where you are in your directory structure, just do a PWD, right? It's pretty simple. Okay, the next thing we want to take a look at is really our tnsnames.org, so let's just do a more. Okay, what you see here are various connect strings. So we could use uh, Slugger's Apex Low will probably be the one we use, but there are different ways to connect to Autonomous. So we're going to go up a directory, and now we're going to modify our bash profile so that it'll recognize uh, where this is. All right, it's so the best profile. We're going to just go ahead and paste in our Tina's admin and put into the directory of our wallet and save our work. Okay, uh, and now we can resource our bash profile. If we want to check that our TNS names is there, we can go ahead and echo it. All right, we can see that it works. Uh, essentially, now we're ready to start connecting to our database. So uh, we're going to use the Slugger's Low connect string from uh, our more on the TNS names that were, and go ahead and connect to the search demo schema. By the way, this is actually my Apex schema under the covers. So now I can look at tables or execute queries, whatever I need to do. There we go. So that's how you can connect directly into your Thomas database from Cloud Shell in just a few minutes.